Okay, so Bernie Sanders, we all know he stabbed us in the heart when he endorsed Joe Biden. So today I am asking all Americans, I'm asking every Democrat, I'm asking every independent, I'm asking a lot of Republicans to come together in this campaign to support your candidacy, oh. which I endorse. Similar to Lee when he stabbed us in the heart when he endorsed Hillary Clinton. Clinton has won the Democratic nominating process. And I congratulate her for that. And I intend to do everything I can to make certain she will be the next president of the United States. And I don't want to hear about, you know he had to do it. I already know that. Doesn't change how I feel, man. I'm hurting. Bernie Sanders, to many of us, is still a leader, and we respect his, his uh, policies. And we respect what he stands for until he doesn't stand for it anymore. Well, to show that the glimpses of Bernie Sanders and the real Bernie Sanders stood up, is still standing, he made some comments about Joe Biden. Now, some of these comments apparently were made in private. But, uh, yeah. I think he made them. For more information on that, here goes the clip. Election Day this weekend reports uh, emerged of a potential rift between Democrats. The Washington Post reporting the Democratic primary runner-up Bernie Sanders has expressed his concerns privately uh, over the Biden camp's approach to financial uh, or economic policy matters and their appeal to more progressive voters. Sanders, the independent Vermont senator, quote, has told associates that Biden is at serious risk of coming up short in the November elections if he continues his vaguer, more centrist approach, according to the people who spoke on the con condition of anonymity to describe sensitive talks. Senator Bernie Sanders joins me now. Good morning, Senator. Good to see you. Thank you for uh, joining me. You've obviously seen these reports. Uh, are they true? No, of course they're not true. I mean, look, what I have said privately is what I have said publicly. And that is, um, I think Biden's in an excellent position to win this election. Uh, but I think we have got to do more as a campaign than just uh, go after Trump. Trump is a disaster. I think most people know it. But we also have to give people a reason to vote for Joe Biden. And Joe has some pretty strong positions on the economy. Uh, and I think we should be talking about that more than we have. Now, we have done, Ali, <clears throat> eight battleground, state, uh, battleground states virtual rallies talking to you know uh, several million people. Uh, and I think what people want to hear is what Joe is going to do to raise the minimum wage. And he supports <clears throat> a $15 an hour minimum wage. What he's going to do to make sure that we create millions of good paying jobs in this country. And he has a very strong plan for the infrastructure. He knows that we can create jobs uh, combating climate change, which God knows uh, we need to do, seeing what's going on in the West Coast. Right now, uh, they want equal pay for equal work. They want us to expand health care to as many people as possible, lower the cost of prescription drugs. I think those are some of the issues that people want to hear a little bit more from the Biden campaign about. There you go, Bernie, being radical again, talking about policy. Policy, 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 Bernie. That's all you care about. What about feelings and vague promises? You know, the type the Democrats love to make. <laughs> That's what sells, right? I know the Democrats are sitting back right now going, man, there he goes talking substance again. Bernie Sanders, you know Joe Biden doesn't want to be pinned down on any policy. If you pin him down on policy, he might actually have to do something to earn your vote. Yeah, Joe Biden, like Hillary, like so many other Democrats, prefer... Just talking in, uh, you know, reuniting the country. Unite the country and restore our faith in something, some other flowery bullshit that doesn't do anything for us. Hey, man, I tell you, boy. Now, there's one part of this I do take issue with with Bernie. He says that uh, Joe Biden is in an excellent position to win this. He's also in an excellent position to lose this as well, Bernie. Come on, man. I just saw Rasmussen poll to put Trump's favorability or approval rating at 50%. I don't know where that came from. Where's it coming from? 
50 percent they like the handling of his job i'm gonna have to double check that but that's what i swear i saw unless it's fabricated and you know fake news so look like bernie sanders like if you wouldn't have canceled your 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 candidacy if you wouldn't have canceled your your, your campaign maybe would have had an opportunity to really push joe biden but at this point it's pretty clear that joe biden doesn't want to become president i mean he might you know he might be doing it, but it's not like he really wants to. I mean, I don't think the Democrats really want to win. They want to set Kamala up, I think. I mean, look at it. Look at Joe. We need engineers to design and workers to manufacture these new. You need to get that stink bug off your shoulder before it climbs into your mouth. What the hell is that? We'll need iron workers and welders to install them will need to become the world's largest exporter. He's asleep at the wheel. He's in a basement. He's meandering. He talks about nothing. He promises nothing. And and look, so Joe Biden put a lot of stuff on paper that people say, and Bernie said that if, if Joe Biden goes by what's on paper, he could be the most progressive, progressive president since FDR. But he could also ignore the paper and be the most regressive or most disappointing president since Barack Obama. So um, thank you, Bernie, for throwing some water on Biden. I think it's just, there's this thing going on, right? Uh, all these folks are trying to jump out in front and say, hey, I warned you first. Like all these, all, everybody wants to be on the record showing or saying that they tried to stop Joe Biden from losing. Because nobody wants to be blamed for him losing. Here's the trick. Joe Biden, this is his third time running for president. He lost the other two times too. And it wasn't because of Bernie Bros. It wasn't because of Nina Turner or Cornell West. It's because he's Joe Biden. Walk it off. All righty then. <laughs> 